This video we're going to look at a legal problem called sort list. So given the head note of a linked list, we want to be able to sort this list in ascending order. So the goal for this question is we want to be able to do this, uh, complete this problem in an n log n time complexity, and its base complexity is constant, right? So in this case, we know that the two uh, sorting algorithm um, is either merge sort or quick sort can be able to achieve n log n time complexity. There's also a heap sort. But the thing is heap sort, um, we will need to require a heap, right? Which basically adding all the elements onto the heap and then be able to sort them. In this case, it will give us a space complexity of linear. So what we can do instead is we can be able to use something like merge sort or quick sort. But the thing about quick sort is that um, in this case, quick sort, we need to find the partition index, right? In this case, the partition index in the length list, the only way we can choose is basically the first node, right? The first head node. So that might not be uh, sufficient if we have a situation where, where the list is already sorted. So in this case, a worst case scenario, if we use um, quick sort, it will give us a time complexity of n squared. So the very common solution to solve this problem is to use merge sort. You can still use quick sort, but it's not as sufficient, right? Efficient uh, as merge sort. So for merge sort, um, the time complexity is gonna be n log n but space complexity is basically big O of H, where H is basically the height of the recursion stack, right? Um, or basically you can also say as uh, big O of log n, right? To solve this problem using merge sort, basically what we're gonna do is that we're gonna basically using divide and conquer. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna divide the list into sublist, right? Until we cannot divide the list anymore, right? Until there's only one node in our list, then what we're going to do is we're going to start to merge the list back uh, in a sorter uh, in a in an ascending order, right? So you can see here we have our list, right? This is our list. This this is our original list. We split it in the middle. So basically, we iterate. We 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 know how to find the middle node, right? In our linked list from our previous videos in, in, in on our channel. Basically, what we're going to do is that we're going to find the middle node, split it, right? Divide this list in half. So what we're going to do is that. After we divide the two lists in half, we're going to continue to divide the two lists in half because this we have at least we have more than one node, right? Once we find once we found that our current list has only one node, what we're going to do is that we're going to start to merge them. We're going to start to sort them, right? In this case, we have no four, no two. So what we're going to do is that we're going to treat it as two sublists, right? So we know how to merge two uh, length lists together, right? So what we can do is that we can be able to merge them in sort in sorter in ascending order. So no two is bigger, uh, less than no four. So no two comes before no four. So we have no two, no two dot nest is no four, right? And then same thing for this sublist. Once we cannot split them anymore, we can be able to uh, merge them, right? So now we have no one point no three. So once we have the two sorted sublists, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, sort those two sublists, right? So in this case, we're gonna get no one, no one smaller than no two, right? So in this case, we have pointer points to here. One pointer points to here, so no one is smaller than no two. So we have the first node is going to be no one, and then no three is smaller, bigger than no two. So we have no two for the next node. Uh, no four is bigger than no three, so we're just going to get no three uh, points uh, be, be at this position. And then at the end, uh, we retrieve, we get to a null, right? What's going to happen is that we're just going to append the remaining elements on the on this list onto the result list and at the end we're basically returning the head node right so this is basically how we're going to solve the problem using divide and conquer or mer merge sort so let's take a look at how we can do this in code so basically do this in code it's very simple first we define our base case right if we cannot be able to split um if, if there's only one node in our list right we cannot be able to split anymore then what we have to do is we have to return our current node right and then what we have to do first, we have to split the list. We have to divide first before we merge, right? So we split in the middle, right? So we have this function called split mid or split middle node, right? Split in the middle. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two lists, right? One is this one right here, which is the first uh, first half of the list. The, the other one is the second half of the list. So what we do in the split middle node function is we basically iterate to the middle, right? So we have a slow pointer, we have a fast pointer, and then we basically iterate to the middle. And then what we're gonna do is that once we find the middle node, we're gonna get pre.nest is null, 
and then we're returning slow. So slow is basically the head note of the two, uh, the second or the last half of the list, right? The head note of the last half of the list. So once we have L1, L2, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort the last left half and then we're gonna sort the right half, right? Once we sort the left and the right, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge them together, right? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a dummy node and then this is our result that we're gonna return at the end, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically merge them, right? We know how to merge two linked lists, right? We know how to merge two sorted linked lists, right? So what we're gonna do is that whoever has the smallest value, we're just gonna say uh, rest.nest is equal to L, uh, that node, right? Whoever is smaller, right? And then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna move that pointer one to the right. Um, and then same thing, after that, we're gonna move the rest pointer, right? Result pointer, one to the right, right? One to the nest node, right? Once we uh, hit a condition, if L1 is null or L2 is null, what we're gonna do is that if L2 does not equal to null, we're gonna get rest.nest is equal to L2, right? If there's more nodes left, we, we will make sure we will pen that, right? We will get the, the tail node of the result list, point to the sorted, uh, for the remaining list, right? For the remaining elements. Um, and then once what's, what's gonna happen is that we're gonna return the head node. The head node is actually gonna be dummy.nest, right? So dummy is basically um, the node. And then we're gonna get dummy.nest is pointing to the head node of the sorted list, right? And at the end, we're basically returning the head of the sorted list, right? So basically you can see this is how we solve the problem and you can see this, the time complexity for this algorithm is gonna be big O of n log n and space complexity in this case is gonna be big O of log n, right? So there you have it and thank you for watching.